thing on? I swear, I paid like 50 bucks to use this phone messaging machine. Oh, oh, wait a minute, the red light's blinking. Okay, that means it work. That means eh, that means it's working. Okay, uh, <clears throat> hey man, it's me. I just wanted to leave you some recorded messages to keep you updated on the yard sale, and so you don't feel completely lonely. I would have taken the night shift with you, but our manager wants me to help out with customers during the sale and sort out what's left in the basement. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Honestly, I hope this this ends well for all of us. You know, after the first Charles Pizza Zone burned down and the incident with Terra's animatronics attacking the staff, I can't say I blame the CEO for quitting the entertainment industry, especially after being hit with a lawsuit when it wasn't even his fault. You know, once everything is gone, so is our place here. I'm probably gonna enroll in college to get a, my my degree at something. You, you know what? I'll talk about that stuff later. How about I tell you what's for sale? Okay. Alright, let's see. Um, okay. We have a set of arcade machines. A few good ones, actually. Like, there's like Mario Kart, DK Jr., and stuff. <laughs> Those classics. A couple of plushies. And even some spare s costumes for both the original and Rock Time animatronics. I'm not sure what people will want to do with the animatronic parts, but you know what, what they say. Once a man's trash is another man's treasure, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not messing around. I'm not here to judge anyone, you know? We're also going to be selling some animatronics if we can find some, of course, but at the moment, that's all we have for sale. There's, there's a box of full of both the burnt and the new animatronics, but we decide that it isn't worth anything. Now moving on. I'm also instructed to tell you what you will be doing on the night shift. You're basically monitoring the building from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. to make sure no one breaks in and tries to steal any of, of the stuff that's for sale. If you see any suspicious stuff happening, just confront them and tell them to leave. Or if there is ever an emergency, just call 911. That, that is important. Remember that. <clears throat> Just a little heads up. These cameras are pretty old and will probably go offline after like a minute or so. Some of the music device... I'm gonna discuss that now. The music device is basically a radio over the speakers, so employees can listen to music while they work. But since the shutdown of the second pizzeria, it's just been cut down to one melody. If any of your devices go offline, just click the specific reboot button and you'll be back up in a few seconds. All right, man, I gotta get going. Me and the management will continue searching down in the basement and see what findings are awaiting us. Okay, I'll talk to you later, dude.
Hey man, how did you make it out of your first night? Were you afraid of the dark or something? <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Anyways, we made quite a discovery this morning. Okay, you're not gonna believe this. We found a couple of more props as usual and an animatronic. An actual functioning animatronic. Manager recognized it and said that it was one of the original mascots before Charles Pizza Zone. I think he said the name of the location where it came was called Ricky Rabbit's Restaurant? Or something like that? He also told that child was killed there and that's why it closed down and when it did all the animatronics were sent back and put away in storage. <laughs> that's all I got for tonight. We're gonna continue the search in the basement and see what else we can find. Talk to you later man. <laughs>